back to my channel. Today, as you can see from the title below, is going to be another bullet journal tour video where I'm going to show you guys my spread for the month of March, which just started only four days ago. Can you believe it? It feels like February went so fast and then January lasted like four months or something. So I'm a little bit surprised that it's already March, but I'm super excited to show you guys the spread. I think it's something really unique and really fun. So we're going to start off by going through my February spread just so you guys can kind of see how I built the bullet journal out over the course of the month. If you guys might remember from my very first bullet journal video, this is my cover page. It's just a geometric heart style that says Hello February at the bottom that I did kind of freehand just for the heck of it. Uh, and then when you open this up, we see in my monthly calendar, along with this schedule that is no longer valid because I now work a full-time job. Not gonna lie, I stopped using this about midway through the month. As you can see, there's like long stretches where I didn't write anything down. I'm not really sure why. I think a lot of my tasks just became more day-to-day -day and week-to-week, -week, so I didn't really find a use for this anymore. Uh, you also will see later that I dispensed with the key on my month at a glance as I no longer really need to use that because I've basically internalized my system. My first weekly spread was very, very involved, and I'm not gonna lie, it didn't really work out for me. I really wanted it to. I really loved the event style and the little calendar and all of this, but just nothing about this really worked. So I didn't continue it. That's the thing I love about bullet journaling is you can change things around however you want and it teaches you flexibility. Don't quite know why I didn't do anything on this page, but on this page I did a little Photoshop shortcut spread. Um, I'm using Photoshop a lot for one of my classes, so it really helped me to just write all this down to kind of keep myself um, apprised and remem remembering of how to do certain things and then on this side I think I'm gonna do like Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Premiere shortcuts because those are the other two programs I'm using a lot in class so it would be really helpful to have that as well. I have the other weekly spread that I started using this is one that I like a lot better it just worked better for me having the dedicated boxes having all of them you know illustrated this way and then having trackers on the side this is something that I plan to stick with you guys will see that in my current monthly or my current weekly spread you'll see this is something that I ended up sticking with. I just really liked the way it turned out. I liked the circle detail that I did with the hole that's at the top of every ruler. And yeah, that's pretty much how I did. Um, around this time, I also started picking up some stickers. So I put a sticker up here to fix a typo that I did. And I got this sticker from a book at Michael's. It's another weekly spread. This one I decided to start coloring in my trackers with my highlighters to have more of a pastel look. I really love this look. It's something that I started continuing to do. And I just kind of did the trackers again by the things that I you know, wanted to make sure that I was doing weekly. For me, habit tracking isn't so much about habits to start, it's about things that I should continue to do. So I wanted to make sure and have a visual representation of all the things I need to get done and make sure that I'm actually doing them every week. Another weekly spread, this one you can tell I really didn't uh, use my bullet journal as much. This was the week that I, the first week at my new job, so I uh, spent a lot of time there and not a lot of time filling out to-dos or even finishing my trackers. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen a sneak peek of my cover page. If you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. I will link my username down below, but this is my March spread, my cover page, and the theme I decided to go with for this month is more of a edgy artsy magazine clipping style as you can see from this cover page. I have a lot of fashion magazines like Vogue, Red Book, Allure, all those types and I hate throwing them or rather recycling them when I'm finished with them and so I wanted to kind of take some of them and turn them into some beautiful art and decoration for my bullet journal. So this is the March cover page. I took this from the Vogue spread and just says March 2018 and then I put in her prime because it looked really cool and then I just took this snippet which is part of a larger piece and you'll see another part of that larger photograph later on. So I just put this here as sort of an artistic entrance to the month and then you open it up to my monthly spread and again I did the same thing collage on the one side and then magazine style month at a glance on the other side I really wanted to go for sleek straight lines as you see here I figured that would kind of add a really interesting artsy effect not gonna lie I probably won't do this again just because already my writing has to be really cramped as you've seen here and I do have longer larger handwriting than a lot of people but this looks really nice and linear and it's not like I use this spread as often as I could have and then again on this side I just did a little spread 
spread. Um, this is kind of a collage style piece from a magazine spread done in In Style. And I love how on the side I chose to do the On Demand, which I thought was especially apropos since this is my monthly calendar. The next page I have is a new thing I'm trying called my expense tracker. A lot of people use these. I don't spend a lot of money ever, which is why there's only three entries, but I thought it'd be an interesting way just to see how much money I spend and on what in a month. So far I have two food entries and one entry for gas, which honestly seems a lot like how I am as a person, so I'm not surprised. And then again, this is another part of that same paint that you saw on the cover page. This is a spread, I think it was from Vogue. And then I have two quotes from W Magazine. Don't really know why I chose to do this off opposite the expense page, but I really like this page. So after this spread, we move on to my first weekly spread, and this is what it looks like. I tried to carry on the same box theme as my monthly spread with the bar at the top. It's kind of my own practice to leave Sunday blank, just to kind of fo force myself to not plan every moment of my day. And then over here, I have my trackers for the three things I'm trying to keep an eye on weekly, uh, whether or not I worked out, whether or not I tidied my room, and whether or not I worked on the enterprise that I'm finishing up for the school paper. So that is the weekly spread, and now you guys get to watch along as I create my next weekly spread. So for this week's spread, I've already clipped out a couple of magazine clippings that I'm going to be using for this weekly spread. So I'm going to first go ahead and start by outlining the boxes for each day of the week from Monday to Saturday and I'm gonna do it first in pencil and then I'm gonna do it in pen. Actually, you know what? No, I'm just gonna do it straight in pen. Let's live life on the edge. You guys don't need to see me do everything twice. Now that that is done, I am not going to make any trackers right now because I need to wait and see what exactly it is I want to track this week since this week is the week of spring break. So I want to make sure that I have as much freedom as possible and I don't really want to feel like I'm locked into doing anything. So I'm going to take my clippings. I have three that I pulled out. This is from a cover girl ad that says I am what I make up. And then these two were taken from an editorial spread. And it looks like these are pretty big, so I think I'm going to wait and use those. And I think I'm just going to put I am what I make up here. I don't know, like, should I do it? I feel like I should do it, like, tilted or something. Maybe I'll do it, like, here at the bottom and then I can do my trackers above it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I know that a lot of bullet journalers use glue sticks for something like this, but I always prefer double-sided tape. I just find that it holds things like magazine clippings or paper together a whole lot better and a whole lot smoother than glue sticks. It's really important to position things kind of away from the fold of the book. So like away from the fold, like leave a little bit of a margin. That way when it folds, it won't wrinkle. So this is my Plain Jane weekly spread. I know that it's not much to look at, but I love it nonetheless. And I hope you guys loved it too. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below with any suggestions for how I can improve these videos or any requests that you might have. I'm also going to do a more detailed and hopefully more interesting photo spread of this on my blog. There will be a link down below. I would love it if you would check it out because I'm super pl proud of the way my vlog is coming along and I would love for you guys to share that with me. So 
again, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!